Hey guys, Lark here. I want to show you guys how to patch up a punctured base for a portable hoop. We had a water leak. Uh, there was a hole in the bottom and had to patch it up. So I want to show you guys a couple of methods how to do this. Let's get started. Up, I want to show you, I did already patch it up once. It's a pretty severe hole and location is pretty bad, especially if you move the hoop around so it bends. I did use glue, hot glue gun right here. And this did work fine for a while, but once you start moving the hoop, it does crack. If you are going to use a hot glue gun, they do work fine, but it's more for like side cracks, like here somewhere on my old hoop. I did have a crack on like one of the edges from all the motion. So we patched this up and it'll last the fine until we replace this hoop. In this case, this didn't work. So we're going to remove all this hot glue. Yeah, this is the crack and this is the reason why. Um, going to remove this, clean it up and we're gonna try one of these adhesive. You need something super heavy duty, but also flexible. And I think this marine sealant will be the best option as it can be submerged in the water and exposed to water the whole time. And it is flexible. It does need 24 hours to cure. So that's what we're going with. If you can't find this, I found the next strongest thing will be the Gorilla Adhesive. It's also flexible, also works with plastics and so on. And there's also another glue called Goop Glue. I haven't seen it in Home Depot recently, but that's another one I used to use. So let's clean this up and patch it up. And as this crack is kind of going in here, I want to get the wheel base off as well, just to get some glue in there. And these wheels on the spalding hoop, it's just three bolts on each side, which I'm going to remove and this pops it off. And I have a link how to assemble this hoop if you're interested in assembly process of this whole thing. It's the spalding 54 inch portable hoop. So I'll put a link below to that as well. Since I had the hot glue, I had to clean some of that off. I actually just burnt it off with a torch lighter and scraped it off with the blade. And that did the job for the glue. I'm not worried about this glue here. I just want to make the whole area clean. Now I can hit it with some sandpaper. Let's start with 150 grit. Basically, the surface isn't that smooth when you put glue on it so it can stick to something. But the better you clean it, the better chance it will hold. Cleaned it up with the knife as well to get any loose pieces out. And I'm gonna do 220 and go around it too because we're gonna wrap some glue all around this at least an inch or so around if not more uh, so it's just covering better more area for the glue to stick to and now we can clean it up with some alcohol Show you guys a close up, it's a pretty bad hole. And we're gonna do our best with this one. Like I mentioned, if it was one of the corners or the sides, hot glue would be easy patch up. Now you would just wanna clean the area with some rubbing alcohol. To make sure it's free of any oils, any dust. Anything that's gonna affect a good adhesion of the glue. All right, let's hit it with the marine adhesive. Remember of using this one specifically, 24 hours to cure. And it's paintable if that matters. Let's, let's say if you're doing the outside or something. So first I'm gonna get some in there so it can kind of drop down on it from the inside as well. Hole. Fill the hole a little bit. I'm going to work around it at least an inch all around the hole to give it a more secure hold.
That's the magic at this cure. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Quick update, it's probably been an hour, hour and a half. And this actually is becoming like a rubberized substance. It's still soft though, but we'll see how it cures by tomorrow. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours and this should be fully cured now. And it definitely feels like it. And it is like a super rubber structure. It feels solid, definitely flexible. That's the hole in here. I can push in and it's fine. So I think this is gonna hold up fine. I'm gonna pop the wheels back on, pop this hoop up and fill it up with water and see what we got. One thing I'm gonna avoid doing is actually twisting the hoop around with the water in it because I think severe twisting just this being a very big base, more than uh, bigger than typical ones. Um, yeah, it probably creates just too much tension here and this can keep cracking more. I did melt a little bit with the torch to kind of stop the crack, but we'll see what happens. So let me put it back up and see how we're looking. Also gonna do a solar light replacement for this night light. That's another video, you can check that out as well. I'm ready to pop the hoop up. And we got a solar panel on as well, which I did a setup video separately for. Check the link below. So we are filling up. And the good sign is I see no water coming out. So it's fixed. Fill that up all the way just to be sure there's no other cracks. And I'll give you guys the final review. We all maxed out. No leaks. I moved it a little bit, but I'm gonna avoid doing any serious movement just in case. Although this is a flexible adhesive, it should be fine. Um, it did the job, I'm happy. No welding plastic, nothing like that. Uh, and like I mentioned before, guys, if you have like a crack here from moving or anything, if you don't have adhesives, nothing, hot glue gun will do the job just fine. Obviously one last probably as well, but it is doable. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful for you guys. Good luck fixing your hoop. And one thing I'm gonna do a follow up on is I'm gonna do some kind of bracket system to secure this to the ground, just as extra safety when it's super windy, even with this big base. Thank you guys.